I got this side bulb working by joining the wires and cutting that god awful relay off but this side was a bit of a problem it would go high beam but not low beam and I was a bit prob <laughs> when I was looking at the connector I thought hmm maybe that's the problem maybe I don't know could be well you see it's melted so what I do is I get, I get these little things here from a local electronics shop they're just little pigtails and you can use them uh, on there again but that didn't fix it well let's go and have a look at the fuse box because this is an absolute joke. It seems in Ghana land they had a lot of 15 amp fuses and the most pure, poorest quality fuses you've ever seen. Look at this. They just drop out. There's nothing holding them in. Look, they're, they're, there's... They are a bit fiddly to get in these fuses but... Uh, that's going to prove me a, a light there. Look at that. Uh, there's one here in particular. Oh that one I've already just... It just fell out. No, they just fall out. So I think uh, I think it's time to put new fuses in here and uh, just put them back right according to this pattern that if it is the right pattern who knows but uh, yeah let's put it back to basics hmm. oh I see why they've snapped the screw off in there and they put a great big long uh, metal screw in here god it's just bodged Fantastic. See there's relays missing and all sorts of work down there to do. Look at little things just giggling around there. <laughs> oh well. Let's get on with that. Let's get some fuses. So there we go. We've got the light back on. Uh, it was the fuse box that was the trouble. Let me explain what the problem was. As you saw the fuses were so loose they were all dropping out. When they're sort of loose like that, they're not making good contact, so there's resistance, then they overheat and burn the damn fuses out. Uh, they've got these little Lucar type connectors in the fuse box. Can you, can you see that? So, what you've got to do, I'll describe on this little connector here. You take your fuse box off and you push, your, push them forwards with a little screwdriver. This is really awkward to do. If you push them here, you can nip them up. I don't know if it's not the best idea, but it works and it stops them dropping out. That's that done. So now I can box, start to box this job up. What else is wrong? Well, the uh, side lights, as you can see, are remarkably bright because it's got these bulbs in, 21 watt bulbs. I'm looking around, what the hell have I done with them? Oh, they're in my pocket. <laughs> They're supposed to have these in. That's the ones it's supposed to have in. 5 watt, not 21. What happens is the, the housing gets, because they're on longer than your, your blinkers, you like your flashers. These are your flasher light bulbs, 21 watt bulbs, because they've got to be bright. But these are just like parking light, side light bulbs that can be on for an awful long time when you've got your headlamps on, for example. So, what will happen is they'll get, this type will get extremely hot and uh, the heat travels down the bulb <laughs> and then those little pins there for the bayonets well they get hot in the plastic and they move forward because of the spring pressure then the bulb comes out you know it melts the housing and then you're forever trying to put like silver paper in trying to make it uh, make a contact but the housing's knackered. They're, they are a really pathetic type of housing. The later 300 TDI type were a lot better. These are the early ones. Well somebody's re replaced these, so it could have been the early ones, but somebody's chopped off, what a surprise, somebody's chopped all the wires and put them in. Should you put LEDs in? Well, I'll put LEDs in the uh, parking lights here. I'm backwards again, but I don't like LEDs in the uh, in the flashers. It's too much messing about putting resistors and relays and blah 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 different flasher units. It gets very expensive. And to tell you on this truth, they haven't found much more reliability with those as these because some of the white pack ones I found out they're getting water in them, you know, and they're burning out. Just before we go. A word of warning to bodgers with only yellow wire or one colour wire to do the whole car. 
I just screwed this light unit in. Look how long the wire is. What the hell you could do? You can, you can go front to back with this, couldn't you? Um, when I screwed it in and then turned the bulbs on for testing, I noticed before that this screw was missing. And this is the ground screw, you know, because you've got two grounds. You've got a ground here and you've got a ground through the bottom, uh, you know, in the wire. So it connects on both sides. And when I turned the light on, bloody smoke bellowing out at damn thing. Well, what had happened is this. Whoever's put these wires on before, see here, they've just hooked it up to yellow wire. But what they've done is they've got the bloody wires on the wrong way around. See, with an incandescent bulb it doesn't matter. But now I'll have to sort all that wiring out. Oh, what a bodgetastic idea that is. Just before we finish this video and we relax in front of a roaring fire, I don't think so, I put a 5 watt bulb in this side, here, but left the 21 watt bulb in this side, here. Now, what is the difference in the two? Well, you can see this one is a bit dull and that one's a bit bright. But what's the difference in the temperature? Well, we're going to get the old thermal imaging camera out fire this bad boy up. Now instead of me holding it, I'm just going to do a picture one at a time because I can take a still with this. If it works, I don't know. So anyway, but I'll shout out what it is. So these have been on about, I don't know, 10 minutes. So this side, he, oh let's do the abatement, uh, ambient temperature abatement. It's 26.6 in here at the moment, alright? This light here, 5 watt, what, what, what? is 40.5, uh, wait a minute, let me get this right, uh, where did I get 40 from, well there we go, that's on the actual bulb itself, that's right, so we've got a, I don't know what it came out at, but, now this one here, on the bulb, It's hot. 82 degrees. 82 degrees Celsius. No wonder plastic hasn't got a damn chance, has it? It's red hot. Here, I'm going to try it. I'll, I'll try and take the camera off. Just hold on a second. There you go. Can you see that? 80, 84, 85 degrees Celsius. I'm a little bit off because the lens is here, you see. Look at the temperature on that, man. So let's go and check over here, because I, I might not put a picture up, I'll see. See, there's the ambient temperature. Around about 27 degrees, 26, 27. And there is the light on that one. So right in the middle of the bulb, it's 45. But it's certainly half that one. So that's why... You should really put just a 5 watt. Uh, you could actually put a 21 watt uh, LED in. That would work nice. Uh, yeah, no problems with that at all. But those are a little bit too warm, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know what these little things are here on this. Oh, they're LEDs, look. Wait a minute, what are they? They'll be next to nothing then. Yeah, 29. What's the, what's the temperature down there? 25. Right, so that was interesting, wasn't it? So now we'll sign this video off. And uh, we're gonna, I'm going to put that bulb in, but only when it cools down. But that's why they, those housings melt. Right, we'll see you later. Oh, look at this. I made, the, um, I made the shield for there. I just knocked up a bit and I put my sticker on there. I wish I didn't now because it looks a bit awful, but it looks like I put that engine in, which I didn't. Just before I finish this video, I, this is the next day, and I thought I'd get round to putting the 5 watt bulb in here. What a bloody job I had trying to get this lens off. It's actually melted. You were probably saying this before. It's melted the rubber out here. <laughs> you couldn't get the lens off. But sure enough, when I took this off, no ground. Why is that? Because I bet you they put the wrong... Uh... Look at the size of the screws. Look at that. That's all the back wheels on that. Look.
should use me uh, prime tool, but I don't know. I had to sell the last one. How tight that is! It's, it's got that hot. It's sort of glued itself, isn't it? Oh, what a thing! What a golf trick! I'm going to put it right because somebody's going to not know about this wire. Somebody's not going to know about this and inadvertently put the screw back in one day and then set fire to the car. Set fire to the harness. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Oh, look at this here. This is better than I thought. We've got all sorts of colours on here. We've got red, brown, yellow and black. And of course, black probably could be the ground, but they've actually got it on the wrong way around. Do you know, this is such a bodgy job, I'm gonna bodge it myself and just put some uh, crimp connectors on. Back in the tick. I don't know if you can see in here, I'm just going to be careful, uh, hold this patiently so the camera can focus in. But you can see the, the hole where the, the actual bulb goes in, the parallel bit, is melted. You can also see this tang here, well, I'll turn it around like that, you can have a better look, actually goes right down into the body and touches here, like into that hole. But it's also, you can see, it continues all the way to the ground wire here. That's what I was banging on about. These are, uh, it says, Vikas on the bottom. Not Lucas, Vikas. <laughs> what, a, what a copy, eh? Um, yeah. So anyway, let's see if we can get that to work. Indeed we can, and there you go. It's not a bad little job. So now I'm going to put that in. Now, always remember, boys and girls, when you put these old-fashioned types in, there's a little gap at the bottom. And that's to let the water out that gets in. Ooh, I don't know how many times we've seen this, but uh, Lucas used to use water-cooled bulbs because they always used to get water in these lights. But so now you have to get, to get the water out. So, you know, that, that cooling effect might not be there. But the problem is that the, uh, by the time you put the lens on, that little hole is minute, so in the old days I just used to drill holes right in the lens at the bottom to let the water out. And also to let, the, the, let it breathe, because if there's any dampness in there, the bulb will, you know, perpetuate this condensation thing, and then it, that's why they all rust out. Right, let me get this fitted. Oh, and I didn't do it properly, the, uh, the wiring. I just cl clipped it with some connectors, because I don't care but at least it's not going to catch fire next time if the guy puts a screw in it. The, uh, in here, not in the car. Mm, it's too early.